going on, weed nerds? Welcome back to Tron's Cron. Once again, I am Tron, and today we're looking at some Cron. This is the Slur K9 from Tam Tams, a new brand on the SQDC. Real quick before I start the video, I want to try and be a more professional YouTuber and do all this shit at the beginning instead of the end. So if you like my content and want to see more, remember to subscribe, like the video, comment down below, follow me on Instagram. And if you want to support the channel, you can go to buymeacoffee.com slash tronscron and you are free to donate as little or as much as you like. Minimum $3 Canadian. All right, on to the show. So, we got this Slurk 9 from Tam Tams. Now, uh, I did a review for the Seven Acres Ice Cream Cake recently and I mentioned I bought a couple of different SQDC strains just because it's been a while since I've tried anything from the recreational market. Uh, so this is one of those. And this one was a little more on the pricey side, actually around the same price as the uh, the Seven Acres. So this Tam Tam Slurry K9 goes for forty dollars even for three and a half grams on the SQDC. So not uh, the craziest, most expensive price, but definitely on the higher side though, uh, in line with the sort of tea god price. Now they don't say anything about this being organic or anything like that, but it does specify that it's indoor grown in Quebec. Yeah, let's see what we say the. SQDC says lemon, woody, and spicy. Now I couldn't find a actual website for Tam Tams yet. I guess the brand is fairly new. But looking up K 9 on Weed Maps, I did get a description here. K 9 by in-house genetics is a combination of the breeder Slurricane 44 and Slurricane 7. Well, that doesn't tell us much. The original Slurricane descends from Dosido -Do and Purple Punch. The top reported aromas from K 9 strain are diesel, grapes, and citrus. Is said to taste like grapes fuel and soil. So they're saying grapes fuel and soil. SQDC is saying lemon spice wood. So we'll see what happens. Uh, real quick stats on the jar though. We've got 19.55% THC, fairly high THC. And packaging date was on January 5th, 2021. I'm shooting this on March 24th and I did order this a week or two ago. Uh, so yeah, about three months-ish in the package. Not too bad at all. Pretty recent, pretty decent. So I think we've had enough yapping up top. Now it's time to open this bad boy up. Oh, the moment of truth. Can he do it? So this is actually a very similar jar to the Seven Acres. Uh, it's just blue. Okay, we do have a more of a foil seal here. So it's gonna be annoying to get that opened. God, is that that on there? Ooh, smells okay. And we do have ba -ba -ba -da, a little Bovida humidity pack, so that's gonna get some extra points for the bag appeal. Um, let me turn on the camera light here so you guys can take a look at the inside. So yeah, a little bit smaller on the buds, but not too, too bad. I don't see any shake or anything. They do look fairly frosty. And I got sort of a dank, earthy smell coming off right off the bat. Let's take one of these bigger nugs in for a close up for you guys. Okay, so we can see here lots of crystal, mostly a light green, a bit of an orangey yellowy hairs. And of course, it had a bovita in there, so it's feeling nice and fresh. No crumble, no dryness very moist and good feeling. Let's turn that extra light off now. Let's see. I'll try and just break up one of these medium-ish nugs. Not getting too much of a smell just out of the jar like this. Pretty generic smell like that, but we'll see how it is once we grind it up. So I think we're pretty much ready to do that. Bag appeal though, I'm gonna give that score right off the bat. Smells not too bad. The looks are okay. Uh, I do like that there was a little Bovita in here. Uh, and other than that, it's a pretty standard plastic jar. So I'm gonna give it one out of two for the bag appeal. So, decent start. Now, let us move on. So, it's basically time for grinding time. But before I grind it up, I did just want to tell you guys what I'm gonna be vaping today. Since I've never tried Slurricane before, I'm gonna be doing an initial bowl in the Dynavap setup. So I've been rocking this Shell Shock once again. 
um, for a couple reasons. One, because I just kind of like having the adjustable airflow. I'm thinking about buying that new 2021 Omni. Maybe I might, might get that once I save up a bit of cash. But this is kind of like an Omni, but it's all stainless steel. And I really like it with the 2020 M tip. I also just recently got this hot shot induction heater from Pipes, who uh, he's based out of Ontario, but you can only buy from him through the fuck combustion forums. Uh, but yeah, this thing is awesome. It's super small, like it's the size of like an e-cig box, uh, fits in your pocket great. There's no battery drain uh, unless you actually turn it on and the little heater thing is hidden. It's pretty cool and I've, I've been finding this works much better than my, uh, my Apollo Rover with the stainless steel tips. It hits amazing with the titanium as well, but with the Rover I found it was much tuned more for the titanium where this will work great with stainless or titanium and uh, really gives a much more even, consistent hit, much more like using a lighter, even from the first drive, so you'll see. Uh, so we're gonna use that for the initial bowl. And then of course, gonna hit up the old turp torch and use that in the mega globe. All right, so the stage is set for some stony vaping action. Now, y'all know what time it is? Whoop, it's grinding time. Cutting in real quick in the middle of the grinding time just to say, um, Smell ground up, still not that strong. Getting a bit more of the gassy, spicy taste on that ground up, busted up nug smell, but yeah, not quite, uh, not a very strong one. Anyway. All right, so we're ready to go. Dino Pot Bowl is good and packed. Now I should get the perfect extraction, about three or four hits with this induction heater. So, no more guessing how many hits I'm gonna get. <laughs> But I hope you're all vaping along, smoking along, stoning along, my wacky weed nerds. Cheers. Okay, so three initial hits there. It looked like more, so I'm taking more than one puff per heat cycle, but uh, yeah. So the flavor did come through with a little bit of like an ice cream cake, kind of similar to the um, Seven Acres ice cream cake, a bit sweet, candy-ish at the very beginning, and then it kind of quickly moved to this sort of spicy Dan Kush type flavor. Um, so interesting. I'm not sure how it's gonna fare in the, um, Turp torch setup, but we shall see. My initial impressions, though, a little bit muted on the flavor compared to what I was expecting. Uh, not so much of the gas and the berry and the lemon. Maybe a bit of berry and sweet sort of lemon stuff at the beginning, and then quickly into that Kush. So, wondering if the pure convection setup on the turp torch is going to change things a little bit. But yeah, looking good so far. The buzz is already starting to give me a nice little hit, so definitely got a good indica strength going there. But I think we're about ready. It's about turp o'clock. Power cable, okay. Let's go. Actually, I'm gonna drink some water first. Okay. Punch my ticket to Turk down. Let's go. Hmm. 
getting more of that grape berry up top. Still a bit more muted than I want, but it's nice. It's interesting. It's almost like a like a sweet tarts or a fun dip <laughs> kind of flavor I'm getting. A grape fun dip, I mean. Yeah, kind of similar to that. Let's see how it does for the second bit. Fucks me right up. <laughs> Alright. So we'll do two more. I'm ready to form my final score for this Slurricane 9 from Tam Tam's Cannabis. Oh, I should show you the actual logo. There you go. So, bag appeal, we said right at the top. One out of two, just because, eh, pretty plain plastic jar. Um, I did give it extra points for having the Bovita pack in there. Moving on to flavor. Now, both the descriptions, I got one from the SKDC and one from Weed Maps. Neither of them were really spot on, but I feel like this was sort of somewhere in between the two. Uh, definitely more of a dank Kush flavor overall when I was hitting the Dynavap. However, in the Terp Torch Bowl with that pure convection setup, I was feeling a lot more of the berry and a little hint of lemon, which kind of combined to make this sort of sweet candy taste, which was actually quite enjoyable, and it did last throughout the majority of the bowl. So, very good, but just a little bit muted. Like, it could have been a little punchier. I would have liked to taste more of that berry, more of that lemon, and a little more gassy as well. There was sort of a gassy overtone that sort of combined everything, but yeah, not super distinct, not super loud of a flavor but still a very nice flavor and a decent amount. Definitely a cut above some of the cheaper strains I've tried. So two out of three, I think is a fair rating for flavor. And buzz, we're giving it full points for the buzz uh, for around a 20% indica. This is hitting nice and hard. Uh, hitting higher than 20% feels more like a 22, 23, maybe even a 24, 25. But similar on the level to like the Tea God strains, they always hit a bit harder than what the percentage would lead you to believe. Um, so this this leads me to believe that this stuff, even though it's maybe not organic, uh, it's definitely indoor grown and it's definitely well cured and taken care of uh, because it's keeping that high and those terpenes and that THC intact. So I'm getting a nice solid indica buzz from it. It's one of those full face melters and then it's kind of going rolling back into my shoulders. Very pleasant high overall. Um, so that gives us an overall rating of 7 out of 10. Would I buy this again? I might. Um, I'd like to try Slurricane from some different brands if I can find it and uh, compare uh, because I would really like if this just had that flavor dialed up a notch <coughs> then it would be really something I would say like go out and buy it. As it stands right now for 40 bucks it's a little on the pricey side and it's not like that much of a big wow factor for that price point uh, so that's why I didn't give it any X factor points. I they were nice and frosty, but not super big. Uh, but like, you know, there, there was nothing really extra or special or extra special about it. Definitely a good solid strain, just a little on the precious side. Might not be an everyday buy for most people, but definitely a good party, you know, special occasion type deal. Even then, personally, I think I still would prefer, if you're gonna spend that much, I would still probably go with a tea god or you know, I think I, I would say I like Tea God more, but I like this better than the Top Leaf that I personally tried. So, 
it is what it is. It's all personal. But for this price point, yeah, I think it's decent, but, you know, not amazing. So that concludes this video on the Tam Tams Slurricane 9. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. And remember, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, whatever time it may or may not be, whether you got the Slurricane 9 or a 500 Hurricane guys, just have a good time. Bye!